Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I'm very excited right now. I just got this package in the mail today. This is a 100 watt solar panel that I just picked up. This is a Nupoa solar panel. I picked this up for the Chinook solar install. Super excited about this. The reason I picked this up was the dimensions of the panel. Okay, so my Renogy 100 watt panels are, they're like a rectangle. They're a little thinner and longer. So this one, let's go ahead and open this up. I'm so excited. I've got my fantastic fan here that's getting ready to go in. I've got my 40 amp Renogy MPPT charge controller. And, wow. Ooh, I don't want that to fall. I'm getting ready to do some solar installation on the Chinook. It's a really windy day today, so I'm not out there doing anything today. I kind of feel like I'm not making any progress today, but sometimes you got to take a break when the weather tells you, you know, to do so. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm so excited. The price of this panel was also very good. Most of the time, you pay about a dollar per watt for solar panels, for monocrystalline solar panels, which is, in my opinion, much better than polycrystalline panels. Monos are what I try to use. They're just much more efficient than polys are, in my opinion. Monos seem to work better when you have uh, conditions that aren't super bright sun, maybe cloudy environments or slightly inclement weather. The monocrystallines, from my experience, will still produce energy at a discounted rate, of course, but uh, where polys seem to stop producing energy. So I'm just hoping that this holds true. So I'm super excited. This thing comes packaged very well. And the price that I paid for this thing was 79 bucks. I'll put a link in the description box down below so you can find this panel. And I'll definitely keep you updated on how it performs. It's definitely going to go into my solar install on the Chinook. I think uh, at this point right now, I'm thinking about running about 400 watts total. But with the 40 amp charge controller, I'll be able to go up to, I believe, 480 if I want to. So, but as of right now, I'm just going to probably put in 400 watts. Now, my original idea was that I was going to only install 250 watts because that's the max for the 20 amp charge controller that I had. Uh, but I thought, man, I want to do a little more than than 250 watts. Even though 250 watts on my Chinook would have been perfect, I just wanted a little more. And the reason I wanted more is because in the winter time when you get less sun, you're still gonna be producing fairly decent power when you go a little higher on your wattage. My electrical uh, needs aren't really that high, so I'm just kinda I'm not going to say I'm overkilling it, but I'm definitely going to make sure that I have enough power on my Chinook. Man, this is a nice panel. Now, for those of you who have been following my channel, you know that I installed solar panels on my parents' fifth wheel. And the panels that I purchased for their fifth wheel was also new POA panels. So, new POA VIP when you purchase 100 and fifty dollars or more and then this right here just tells you a little bit about how to set it up they're saying that if you have two panels that you should connect them in parallel 
at least according to the back of this little deal right there they're saying set them up in parallel so that's kind of cool uh, I like the dimensions of this this is a nice looking panel monocrystalline and for the price of 79 bucks so I'm looking at the the chart back here with the specs and I'm seeing maximum power 100 watts operating voltage 16.7 volts 6.26 operating current so 6.2 amps that's pretty good open circuit voltage 19.8 and short circuit amperage 6.5 wow this is a nice panel 100 watts new POA man very nice feels very solid it's got the MC4 connectors on there good quality wires wow 79 bucks crazy if I set this right next to me so you you just know that this is a hundred watts right and then I look at my Renogy hundred watt panel of course this is a completely different form factor this one puts out 100 watts the open circuit voltage on this Renogy panel is 22 and a half volts um, and then it says the amperage or the optimum current is 5.29 amps so this new POA puts out almost another amp 6.26 that's crazy versus the 5.29 that you get out of the Renogy. And just in case you might be interested in a Renogy panel, this is model RNG100D. So again, um, operating voltage 18.9, open circuit voltage 22.5, and again, um, the short circuit current on the Renogy panel is 5.75. But again, you can see the MC4 connectors and the form factor. It's a lot longer, like it's a rectangle instead of almost a square. So this is why I chose the new POA. If you get these Renogies like this, they're around 100 bucks right now. And I've seen them go up in price too. So currently, at the time of me shooting this video, you can pick a panel like this Renogy up for about 100 bucks. And I'm blown away that this new POA is $79. That is just fantastic. That's a good price. Looking at the aluminum, uh, it's built very solid. It's a nice solid panel. I have no doubt that this thing is going to last many, many years. Said it's made in Vietnam. And I'm looking at the Renogy. Where does it say it's made at? I'm not seeing on the sticker unless I'm missing it so very crazy so that's about all I have to say in this video today if you look at the frame the new POA frame is just a slight bit smaller they are pre-drilled so you can install your brackets and things right there they're pre-drilled uh, I just I'm really impressed for what I'm getting for the price point I think it's fantastic so with all that being said, folks, again, I want to say thank you for stopping by today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you're checking the description box down below. I'll put links to where you can find both of these panels. And until next time, have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then. Bye for now.